Hello everyone! Happy to see you all again. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Zen Garden channel. I'm glad you found us and hope you enjoy the videos. So today, we'll go over a few beginner's tips for succulents, so if you're just starting your new hobby, this video is for you. Before we continue, as usual, we're going to reveal our Who Am I plant from the previous video. What we have this time is a Crassula Buddha's Temple. The Buddha's Temple is a hybrid from the Crassula Pyramidalis and the Crassula Perfoliata. Native to South Africa, they like full sun, warm temperatures, and low humidity. Let's check out what do you need to pay attention if you're a beginner succulent parent. My first tip for you guys is, do not repot your brand new plant as soon as you get home. Remember, plants are living things, and just like humans, they may suffer with changes. Your plant has been sitting in the garden center for days or weeks on the bright sun, and then you're going to bring it home and leave it on the windowsill. You're changing the temperature, the amount of sunlight they get, etc. So these changes stress them out. If you're pot, then that is yet another thing that is going to stress them. Let them get used to the new home for at least a week or two, then you can repot. After some days or weeks passed, when you do decide to repot it, make sure to choose a container with drainage. That way the water can escape and not accumulate in the soil, which will cause the roots to rot. Third thing to think about is your soil mixture. Use a soil specifically blended for succulents and cactus as they prefer a soil that's fast draining, lighter with more airflow. Regular soil is heavier and holds too much moisture. This is the one I use so far, haven't had any issues. You wanna look for something that has perlite to help soak the moisture. Pick a healthy succulent when you are buying your plant Make sure to inspect it carefully before making the purchase. Look for healthy looking plants with nice color, no dying or soggy leaves. I would recommend where possible to have a peek at the roots. My own experience, one time I bought a very nice looking succulent super healthy, but the roots had mealy bugs that I only discovered when she started to wilt. I still have her, she has survived, but it's been a long journey. Watering, this is where everyone struggles, I think. You want to water until you see a little bit coming out of the drainage holes at the bottom, but you don't want that much that it will sit at in the saucer. If it does, pour it out. A good rule to follow is to let the soil dry between watering. If you are unsure if you have giving too much or too little water, look for the signs. When your plants need water, the leaves will begin to pucker. If they go soggy or translucent, then the soil is holding on too much water. Light. I cannot stress enough how important light is for your plants. They need at least four to six hours of light, but be aware of the heat in the summer as they can also be scorched, just like we get sunburn. Fertilizer, as any other plant, they also need some nutrients and stuff to help them grow. Usually, if you get a succulent or cactus food bottle or bag, you can fertilize once a month, but do research your succulent species as some may need more than the others. Just follow the directions on the bottle and you will be fine. If you see any bugs of any sort in your plant, Act immediately. Do some research online. Try and find out what type they are and how to fight them, or take a picture and bring it down to your local garden center. I'm sure they will be able to help. Be mindful with the products you use. Many succulents do not do well with insecticide. Keep an eye on the temperature. If you leave in a cold place, be sure to bring them inside before it's too late. Unless you own a cold, hardy succulent in that case, you go inside and can leave the plant outside. These are my beginner tips for you if you are just starting. There are much more, of course, once you get used to be a new parent. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Now let's check out a new Who Am I friend. Can you guess this species? Leave us your answers in the comments below and we will reveal on our next video. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to like and consider subscribing our channel. It means a lot. Have a great week and see you soon.